Hello children, welcome back to your online class. So students, take out your social science book. In the last class, we have uh, discussed some portions of uh, chapter 4, that is the first cities. So today, we will finish the rest of the portion. So take out page number 25. Trade. The Harappans exported uh, surplus goods and brought and brought in goods that they were in short they were in a short supply copper tin gold silver and precious metals were brought from outside possibly from mesopotamia which is in modern iraq persia modern iran oman and afghanistan trading links with mesopotamia have been proved by the discovery of mesopotamian seals in many harappan sites and harappan seals in the age in the cities of ancient mesopotamia the overseas trade was perhaps carried on from Lothal, where to where a dockyard of four ships has been found. Now see, at that time there also export and import system was there, but there was no money that they used to ex exchange the surplus grain with the with the copper, tin, gold. Okay, and how they come to know this uh, archaeologist because they have found Mesopotamian seal okay which is in modern iraq and these might have these uh, uh, the trading must have done in the, uh, the sea route also that is why they have found a dockyard for ships and these business started from lothal see that time also this uh, ex exporting and importing system was prevailed now coming to the script the harappan script have been engraved on numerous seals that have been found at the at all the Indus Valley sites, it is the earliest form of writing discovered in India. So, writings have also been discovered. Okay, the script of the Harappans was pictographic, that is, it had picture like signs representing words, objects, and ideas. It has not, not yet been deciphered. Deciphered means not known. Okay, so what are these coins about? Now we have like one rupee, two rupee, like coin you have. But at that time, what happened? There are some objects drawn over there. Okay, and some signs. Signs mean because they used to, I think, they used to exchange some signs and they used to understand their language only. It's the script. Now, Harappan sites in Gujarat. Lothal is the coastal site. Like other, like the other sites, it was divided into a citadel and a lower town. And Lothal has also been uh, divided into the upper town and lower town. That is the citadel and the lower town. A large warehouse has been found which was perhaps used to store goods. Now, granaries have been found. Great, great bath have been found again. The warehouse house has also been found which the other people, the, the, which the primitive people might they have stored goods. Other significant finds include a bead factory where the beads are made. Beads means money. Containing tools for bead making, semi-finished and finished beads. So beads have also been found and that machinery tools which beads were made, they, these things have also been found. Many Mesopotamian seals and a brick dockyard connected to the Gulf of Cambay by a channel. The dockyard was probably used for birthing ships. The finds, uh, the finds suggest that Lothal was a port of overseas trade, possibly with Mesopotamia. So, dockyard have also been found. Okay, by by which this they used to trade, uh, trade, uh, trade from Lothal to Mesopotamia. Now, Dholavira. Dholavira lies in the Khadir Island in the run of Kutch. It is locally known as the Kotada. It did, in terms of size, it is one of the largest in the settlements in India and the fifth largest of the sites that have been discovered so far. Now, Dholavira is the fifth largest site. Excavations first began here in 1990 and are still on. Now, from 1990 onwards, they, the archaeologists start digging the ground. Dholavira was different from the other in the cities is in that it was divided not into two but three parts. Now Dholavira is very much different from the Mohenjo-daro and Harappa because these two sites have only citadel and lower town but this Dholavira site has three parts. Each part was enclosed by a stone wall. Now stone wall that time it was a big brick now stone wall. Many graves have been found here. Now graves have also been found. The excavated grapes uh, contain pottery and jewelry. Dholavira is famous for another thing, perhaps the oldest signboard in the world, containing 10 large, si 10 large sized signs of the Harappan script has been found here. 10 large signs have been found in Dholavira. 
Now, why this Dohatit makes unique? This is unique because all other samples of Harappan writing are available only on seals. Okay. Harappan civilization had script only on seals. But in Dola Vira, what happened? A yes. signboard has also been found. The signs and script they have found in the signboard also. And 10 large sign has also been excavated. Now, Gola Dhoro. Gola Dhoro is recently excavated site in a Kutch region. Excavated articles suggest articles of shell and copper were produced here. Now, in Dhola and in Dhola, uh, Gola Dharo, shell and copper has been found. Uh, shell, the, the shell of the snail has also been found. Many finished and unfinished shell bangles have been found here. So, they must have made bangles with the shell. A unique seal has also been found. It is uh, shaped like a box and is hollow. So, there also seal have been found. Now, decline. About 3500 years ago, there was a big change in the life of the Harappan people. The number of people living in the cities became less. Overseas trade stopped. Instead of big bricks, sun-dried bricks began to use for construction. The houses became less impressive. In Mohenjo-daro, the drains were choked and garbage got piled up on the uh, streets. We do not know why this was happening, but something was wrong. The general decline had perhaps began, but specific causes must have differed, uh, differed from city to city. There may have been natural disasters such as earthquakes, flood, epidemics or a change in the course of river Indus. Whatever the reason, the archaeological evidences suggest that people abandoned the cities and moved to smaller settlements. Now, let us study the decline. What happened? Now, these cities started declining and people are becoming, becoming less. But no, but, uh, no one can find out why these people are becoming less in number and uh, we can find big bricks but at the at, at two three thousand five year three thousand five hundred years ago they started making again this uh, sun dried with sun dried which is the bricks which is dried with uh, dried by sun they they started uh, these bricks for construction and these are the well planned streets and drains all these garbages have been dumped but this archaeologists they predict that they predict that uh, this must have been because of the natural disasters such as earthquake floods or epidemics okay or there must be core that there must be change in the course of river indus uh, if the rivers indus is been going this way my might be at that point of time the river indus have flowed in a different way okay might be that is what that is one of the reason okay but archaeological evidences suggest that people abandoned the cities and they started to live in smaller settlements okay so children this is all about the chapter so we have come to the end of the chapter read the chapter okay till then thank you